we're going to start to build the cannon and fire in. So I've done all the hard work for you. I've calculated the trajectory equations, the the speeds, and I'm going to show you what, what the variables are and the methods. And if you could just copy them across, that's all you really need to, to do. You won't need to worry exactly how the physics works because it's not the point of this tutorial. We're going to be examining the effect of variable delta t's on the performance of computer game character or, or a particle under some physical laws. So here's our cannonball trajectory variables, this block right here. If you could copy that just after your paintbrush is in game loop 002, what we have here are the initial conditions of the location of the cannonball, x0 and y0. We then have some iteration variables. We have the components of acceleration in the x and y direction, and the same for velocities. We have the x component for velocity, the y component for velocity, and the, in the initial velocity fired out of the cannon. And we also have the iteration variables for the velocity. We also have an angle theta from the y-axis, the angle that we're going to be firing the cannon. And we'll also keep track of the distance to the wall and distance to the floor. So we've got these variables. The next step we need to do is set some initial values. So if you go into your constructor, just after your frame time initializations, you could copy this across. We've got some initial conditions, and here we're just saying that the x and y coordinates of the cannonball are initially zero. I've put in some conversions here from degrees to radians because Android works in radians when you're working with angles, and we're going to have some fun with that later. But at the moment, I've just set the angle to 30 degrees, so that's 0.52 radians. And we're firing the cannonball out at 100 pixels, density pixels per second. We can then calculate the uh, x and y components of that velocity. And also here we're stating the x and y components of acceleration. So here in the x direction, it's our gravity, if you like. In the y, the horizontal direction, we're setting that to zero because there's, there's no gravity. We're just going to let cannonball continue under its own motion. And finally, once we're iterating, we're going to need to initiate our iteration values. So if you copy these values across, we're just stating that the um, yt and velocity is equal to the initial x and y position, y velocities, and the same for the x and y positions. And the final thing to do is setting the actual calculation. So here in the update method, this block is the actual physics behind the motion of the cannon. Just copy that across, pause the video. So here we have our time stepping for velocity time stepping for the distance and position of the cannonball and at the end we just iterate the step. Of course that's not the final thing. Once we've got the positions we're going to want to draw the position of the cannon on the screen and I'm just going to choose a simple circle. So this is it. We've got the cannonball x position, cannonball y position, giving it a radius of three density pixels and I'm using a red paintbrush to fill that circle. I think that's it. I've also added some, uh, if you look at your stats method, I've added this block just to keep an eye on the variables as, as it's being calculated. Yeah, let's hit save and run. There goes our cannonball. And it goes straight through the, the wall. And let's run that again. Just wanted to make something clear. This here is your x axis and this is your y axis. We've, we've rotated the activity. And let's go back in there. So the cannonball is fired at this angle here, theta, from the y-axis at a speed in this direction. It's working pretty well. So um, what I'd like to do now is detect when that ball hits the wall and when it hits the floor. So if we exit that and go back into the game loop, uh, actually, let's do that in the next tutorial. I need to show you a few more things along with that. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching. See you next time.